Hey there folks, it's Antar and I've got a new battle for you today. It's against Creamy Cheese, who PM me through YouTube, and that is how I prefer to get my challenges, so I happily accepted. We're rocking it UU style, we're both using UU teams, which is great, because a lot of the battles that I've had recently have been against people who don't really know or care about tiers. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my UC as he leads off with his Crobat. I'm predicting him to go for the Taunt this time. I mean, it's a lead Crobat. You know, taunt is kind of something that they do a lot of the time. Instead, he goes for the Super Fang, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the Psychic. So I'm like, okay, well maybe he's either not running the Taunt, or now that he's seen that I'm going to attack, maybe he thinks I'm not it's not worth it to taunt, so he goes ahead and calls back Crobat, knowing that Psychic is a two-hit KO. Um, I'm guessing he probably doesn't carry the Roost. Anyway, I predict this quite well, go for the Stealth Rocks, and that's going to be awesome. Now, um, we tried to have a battle before, but he accidentally only selected his Empoleon, uh, so he had seen my UC in action before, and I'd seen his Empoleon before, and it looks to me like his Empoleon is Specs. I'll... I might run some calcs um, based on some other stuff, but he, every time I've seen it in play, it's only, it's used one move, locked itself into the move, and I really don't think that it's Scarfed, although maybe it is. Uh, anyway, my opponent is going to withdraw Empoleon. No, actually, I know it's not Scarfed because my Yuxi outran it. So anyway, yeah, gonna go ahead and go for the sub, uh, this, oh wait, no, we both switched on the same turn, so yeah. Uh, this next turn I think I'm going to go ahead and go for the sub, as he switches out his Umbreon, fearing, I guess, the Focus Punch, which makes sense. Sends out his Frostlass, and, you know, which would have been great if I'd gone for the Focus Punch, although he could have just hit me with Payback or whatever to block the Focus Punch. But I do go ahead and set up my sub. Oh, he was probably thinking Dynamic Punch, but No Guard is not legal, and I'm not going to run it on my, uh... I'm not going to run it until it's legal. So anyway, yeah, I can set up my sub, and this is great because I carry Focus Punch, so even though he can hit me with a super effective Ice Beam, I'm going to be able to take that, and I'm going to be able to hit my opponent with a super effective uh, Shadow Punch, and even if this was your standard Frost Slash, which carries the, um, excuse me, carries the Focus uh, Sash, uh, its focus sash is broken by Stealth Rocks anyway, so that's excellent. So Crosslass is down, and Clank is doing work. I, I gotta say, I love Golurk. People say, oh, you can't really use it in UU. I have not found that to be true. I found it to be highly effective in UU, but eh, I don't know. So I call back Clank at this point and go ahead and send out my Kizulu against his Kingdra. It's not like I can do super effective damage to this guy, but I think I can probably wall him unless it's a special set running Ice Beam or something. I guess I've seen Kingdra's running Avalanche, but I think I can probably take at least one, even a plus one. He's going to go ahead and withdraw Kingdra and go out into Empoleon as I go for the Sleep Powder, because I just... And I, that was going to be my best bet for taking out Kingdra and not having to worry about it, so yeah. Sleep Powder is going to put his Empoleon to sleep, and that's really, really excellent for me. Uh, Empoleon is fast asleep, and I can hit it with a super effective Earthquake, So, which I believe is going to be a 2 hit KO. So here comes the Earthquake, it hits, and it does more than half, and that's excellent, so as long as he doesn't wake up in the next turn, I'll be okay. Empoleon does wake up in the next turn, and goes for the Ice Beam. Which, this is why I think it might not be Scarfed, because, or Specs, because I would imagine that a Specs Ice Beam should be able to take me out, even though I run Sassy, Max Special Defense, I don't run Max HP, so I'll run the calcs and um, probably post in the description whether that, uh, whether it's likely that it is Specs. Anyway, I take it out with another Earthquake, I'm down to 34 HP, a little bit more after Leftovers, and uh, I'm just not sure what to do next. My opponent is going to go ahead and send out Crobat. I'm going to have to pull back Kazulu. I, I don't think it runs the Pursuit. Also, I think I could probably survive the Pursuit, but I don't think Crobats can run Pursuit, so I don't really know what he's going to do. But I'm going to go ahead and send out Clink in any case, because I think I can wall whatever he's going to do. He chooses to go for the U-turn, so he gets the Switch advantage, but he's down to such low HP that the next time he brings in his Crobat, it's going to die uh, thanks to Stealth Rock. So I'm not sure that that was the best move, but it is what it is. And, you know, certainly he could use it as death fodder later. So out comes Kingdra, and I'm going to predict him to think that I'm going to be uh, scared away, and I, I'm going to predict that he's going to think I'm going to switch, and therefore he's going to go for the Dragon Dance. So I go for the Focus Punch, but no, he goes for the Waterfall, and I'm like, no! Ugh, well, that's okay. Um, so I didn't, 
I didn't get to uh, over predict. I over predicted him there, and I don't get the free focus punch, and Clank is going to be taken out. So, eh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm going to go ahead and send out Hugabug now as a free switch, and I'm going to be able to hit him with a thunder, but that is going to scare him out. And he's going to go ahead and send out Rhyperior, who obviously is going to not take anything, uh, is, you know, immune to Thunder. So that's not great. But I think, okay, well, it's Rhyperior. It probably carries solid. It probably runs solid rock. But even so, Energy Ball, Life Orb should be should do a whole lot of damage. And I'm hoping that it'll take him out. Uh, most people run Choice uh, Galvantulas this gen. But really, I find that Life Orb just has an amazing versatility and does an amazing job. And, you know, after all, uh, you know, in Scarf, not really needed because Hugabug is just pretty... I mean, it has really good speed. Anyway, I'm babbling. I'm going to go ahead and use Bug Buzz this turn against his Umbreon. It's going to be super effective. But Umbreon, my god, that thing can take a hit. I mean, just look at that. I mean, it took that hit so damn well. It, my opponent is going to go for Toxic, and it is going to miss, but as you're going to see, it's not really going to matter at this point, because, you know, he doesn't have enough Pokémon left, he's not going to really be able to stall me out, so Bug Buzz next turn is going to be able to take out Umbreon, and that is great. So bye-bye Umbreon, you know, it could take, it's really impressive that it could take one Life Orb Bug Buzz. So I am very impressed there. Crobat is going to come out this turn, and is going to die from the Stealth Rocks, and so... I mean, that's what happens when you switch out like that, but it's not going to really do anything. My opponent is going to send out Kingdra, I am going to be faster, and I am going to go ahead and go for the Thunder. It's not super effective, but it is the attack of mine that will do the most damage, because it is stabbed, and it has 120 base power, and what, 91% accuracy? So I take out his Kingdra, and that is good game. So great game, Creamy Cheese. Uh, he asked me to upload this battle, I would have uploaded it anyway. But I hope you enjoyed it, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.